are you? Great Planet Directory again here. Wow, this is a great place. Can you give everybody an idea of what you do? Because when I was out with you in the woods, it was amazing. He's got me eating stuff like this, and I don't even know what this is. Dan, what was this? It's called hairy bittercress, and it's a weed that usually grows right next to the things that you grow. And you usually weed them because you don't know that they're edible. Well, I had the greatest time. We went in the woods and Dan was showing me things that I never thought I could eat and survive off of and actually be healthy. So we actually at Green Planet Directory thought we would come and interview Dan and uh, let him show us some things out there. So we're going to end up taking a walk and come with us and Dan will show us everything that we can and cannot eat out there, okay? You get literally shelter from trees. You can get water from trees. You can make fire from trees. And you can get food from trees. That's everything you would need to live. So when you're looking around at trees, they are a big reason why we're all standing. Again, talking about symbiosis. So look at how this and the wind are just such great friends. You know, they're working together. And seeds and wind are literally like a person walking. You know, this is how this plant walks. The wind comes and it blows it over there and it's gonna grow there next year. And so literally, this plant is being guided by the wind on where it's going to grow next. And so it can travel miles over years, you know, and every year. So I like to look at plants not as individual species, but as collectives. Like this is a goldenrod collective. And so it's sort of working together. And it's spreading its seed in the direction that the wind takes it. And you know, all those hippies saying, I'm just going where the wind blows. Now you saw a few dandelions here. When you're walking back, count how many dandelions you see. Like you literally could eat dandelions. You could not eat them enough to ever get rid of dandelions. Like they would just keep spreading and laughing. That would be enough for you to stay alive. Um, this is calcium and there's protein in nuts. Like, you know, there's so many different variations of, of uh, nutrients. Well, look here, next to this trash can, there happens to be this thing that you would think is a purposeless weed here. And this is actually a great medicinal herb. It's called mullein. It's very fuzzy and it's very beautiful. And it's been used for so many different things, like lung conditions. And you could make a tea out of this if it wasn't next to this here. Garbage. This, this plant is also very good for treating asthmatic conditions. And this is one of the only plants that exists that you can actually smoke minute amounts and the medicine actually gets in your lungs. And um, But it's recommended to make a tea out of it. And to make a tea out of it, you would just steep the leaves for 15 minutes and you wouldn't boil them because that would reduce the uh, medicinal qualities and you would strain it and you could drink that and uh, make sure you strain it through a cheesecloth if you have a sore throat which is also good for it because the little fibers on there um, the thing about dandelions is that when you get dandelions at the store they're just full of water and they're basically diluted uh, diluted nutrition and so your body has to work more to digest it and to get less nutrition out of it. This dandelion right here is a survivor and it's getting every nutrient it possibly can. Every nutrient, every nutrient this pulls from the soil okay. guarantees that it's gonna survive. You know, it's not lazy. This 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 weed is trying to grow. So you'll get more flavor and it will be more bitter, but it will also have more medicinal value and nutrition. Hmm. And for those of you who don't know, this plant Here's, here's the magic of nature right here. So dandelion um, is a great diuretic and it helps you pee. And one of the things that happens when you pee is you lose electrolytes and potassium. And so this plant has one of the highest uh, vegetative sources of potassium in it. And it's a diuretic. So that means it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. You know, it has both properties for you. So as you lose your fluid, it restores your potassium. And that's the genius of nature, where you don't have to get your, uh, your diet. Before, before it's sugar and before it's syrup, this is water. You literally can tap this in February and get gallons a day. Mm -hmm. Gallons of water out of this tree. Because what happens is the tree, um, Basically, if you look at the seasons, you could you could also learn a lot about uh, plants and their medicinal uses based on the seasons. So, for this example, um, in the winter, it stores all of its energy in the roots. That means all the liquid in this tree goes down to the roots. And what's it doing in the winter? It's focusing on growing roots. You know, so when spring starts to come up, notice the word spring. What do you think happens? All that water, all the liquid starts to go up in February, that's when you tap the tree. 
and that's when all the water is running. And so you'd literally get buckets of water. Now, what? why is it going up? Because it has to create leaves. So that's what its purpose is. It's creating leaves and flowers, and by, by the middle of summer, it will have lots of leaves and flowers. And then, back in the fall, it'll start considering to bring all that liquid back down and put them back in the roots. So you have this cycle happening all the time. Um, you get a lot of water, especially for maples. Now, the fact is that the sugar content is very small, very small. If you drink this, you're, it's not going to be too sweet, but it's amazing. It's really amazing. It tastes like vital, you know, talk about your uh, your super food. That stuff is like the, the nectar of the tree, you know. How do you pack it? This is foxtail grass, and uh, it's, it's pretty funny that uh, people don't really realize that these are edible seeds, and um, this is just like your wheat or your grasses, anything. Uh, this is all edible, and you could actually, if you um, grew this in a field. Hold and still. Okay. If you grew this in a field, and you would literally be able to grind this up just like any flower, and all grasses, if you know that you have a grass, all grasses are edible. This plant here, uh, it was interesting because everyone thought this was thistle, but that's, this is actually a plant called teasel. And uh, this root is being used uh, for a lot of Lyme disease conditions. And um, this plant, as well as Japanese knotweed, are great for uh, healing Lyme disease. And, but we have this idea that we shouldn't trust ourselves. And that's really where I feel like my work is the most important, is realizing that you know. You just need to have that level of confidence, that inner knowing to come out. We all have very powerful intuition, but we've been taught by various means to ignore that, that you don't know. You, you're, you're not. The reason I created my website to be called Return to Nature, and that's sort of what I've been looking for is because I found that everything is a vessel for nature so if I give you a plant and you heal from that plant it's not because of the plant only it's because nature has a life force and it gives that to you. Um, you've been talking a lot about um, what we can give, get from plants mm -hmm. and I just want to know if there's anything we can give back to them. Mm -hmm. Well really what I've found is that this uh, activity transforms people. This is your healing is that you go out there and you start picking plants and you start to have a communion. And then you start to understand that, wow, I'm not just grabbing this stuff for my own consumption, but let me see if I can prune this in a way where there's some left over for me, but I'm actually helping the Dan, plants. Tell them again your so, website, please. Uh, it's www.returntonature.us. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks really, really. Fun. I wanna sign the one. You are the one. You are the one. You are the one.